All right, guys, we're here in Infracon, and this is Mark, and Mark's gonna introduce the products, and uh, as you know, in nearly 2,000 plus video, uh, videos, you've always seen me brag about this guy right here, who's really great at YF, and Mark will explain the rest to you of the advantages. Yeah, so thank you. So yeah, this is the DTEK Stratus. Uh, Infocon launched this leak detector in 2019, and we've had a lot of success with it so far. Um, the key advantage to this uh, leak detector is, is the screen, right? But it gives you the ability with parts per million, right? And, and with that, we're able to quantify um, the refrigerant, but the key advantage to the parts per million is that it really acts as your navigation tool because now, as you're leak checking, you're looking at a number, and higher the number, closer you are to your leak source. So I actually have a little demonstration here. Um, there is a, a, a little bottle of 134A that's leaking at around five grams annually. So a, a very, very small leak that's in here. But this is supposed to kind of mimic your mechanical room. So as I enter into the room, I begin seeing that I, I have, you know, refrigerant there as present. And as I get closer, it's really gonna start to increase in parts per million. But what I want you to see is how fast it reacts if I'm going away from my leak source. As you can see, that number is going down. So it's telling me I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to go back to where I was. And now as I get closer to my leak, it's really gonna start to increase. And now I found where my leak source is because I'm getting my highest reading. So that's really the key advantage to this leak detector. We also have different modes on here. We have what we call pinpoint mode, which is gonna act like your traditional leak detector. That's where you're gonna leak check, you know, along a, a condensing coil, maybe along like uh, some copper bends and some fittings. Um, and then here is what we call manual zero. And this acts more like your, um, older style of, of units kind of like the h10 or the, the tip zx back in the day where you walk into that same mechanical room you start seeing that there's refrigerant present you zero it out and it's not going to go off on anything less but only on something more so that kind of helps you when you're navigating through some, some big refrigerant clouds the other big thing with the DTEK stratus is that you have the ability to interchange um, infrared sensors for different applications now. So if you um, if you wanted to uh, detect CO2, all you have to do is you open up the battery door here, take out your refrigerant sensor, insert the CO2 sensor, and just like that, as you can see, it reads that there's a CO2 sensor present, and after this quick warm up we're gonna have uh, sensitivity to CO2. Very good. And for guys, uh, in some foreign countries, they use HC containing like propane, butane, R600, like even though it's not legal, they still do it. Uh, it's gonna happen. Like Australia, they're not supposed to use uh, R290, R600, but guys do. So that's where your hydrocarbon. Yeah, so we have a third sensor here that we just recently launched, a sensor for your flammable refrigerants, your um, R290, R600, where same thing, you can just insert the sensor into the leak detector and you'd be good to go to, to detect those gases. So all you guys who break the rules, laws, and regulations, they even have one for you <laughs> in the automotive <laughs> world. <laughs> so, so, and this is, the next step, it's same and equal in sensor and technology? Yep, this this is the DTEK-3. We launched this product um, in 2020. And yeah, I just call it the little brother to the DTEK Stratus. Um, it has all the same capabilities from the pinpoint mode into the manual mode, same capabilities of interchanging those sensors for your different applications. And, um, um, uh, same battery, same filter. It just doesn't have the screen to where you're utilizing the PPA. So if a few dollars is what you want to save, but you have just the exact same powerful sensor, then this would be your step to go if you just didn't want the fancy screen. That's right. And for automotive use, for you guys in automotive... For, for use in automotive, um, 
these three refrigerant leak detectors will work. We actually have a very good sensitivity to uh, 1234YF, actually yeah. better than 134A. Yeah, and if you've heard that, since here in the United States and most rest of the world, 1234, uh, 1234YF or 1234? Um, yeah, yeah I, I, that one really confuses me too, and I use it every day. Uh, these are more sensitive than R134. And I will say that all these products are approved for A2L refrigerants. They're independently tested and certified for use with A2L. And I just want to point out, the CO2 sensor is actually picking up the, my exhaling. Oh yeah, just us breathing right here, it's <laughs> yeah. picking up a little bit. Yeah. And. Uh, so with the R2Ls too, using a big lighter works really good. If it's a big lick, you'll find it. <laughs> yeah. Don't follow that advice. I don't recommend that, but if, uh, you know, for uh, other combustible uh, gases, other applications, we do have our combustible gas leak detector here that is certified intrinsically safe. So if you're working on a furnace, you know, hot water, uh, hot water tank, heat exchangers, uh, this would be a good leak detector for you as well. All right, guys, I'll see you, and thank you very much, Mark, and um, catch you guys later. You'll see me back, and as always, you will always see that Stratus in my hand. See you guys.